Welcome back to Strange World, part three of four. We're doing phone calls tonight. We're talking about anything you want. And guess what? I found the speech. So here we go. I'm going to read the speech I was supposed to give in Denver on Friday morning. And actually, it'll probably be a little better for you guys now because uh, Lord knows you probably wouldn't be ready for a speech at 9 a.m. So we're going to do it, okay? And then I will pick up calls, and I know I see 250-360-304-6234, and so on and so on. So here we go. This is the Denver Speech 2018 by Mark Sargent. Some of you are wondering, and because again, remember, I'm coming in with a lab coat. So just remember, I'm supposed to be wearing my 1800s lab coat when I walk in. Some of you are wondering what I am wearing, and some of you already know. This is what I like to call the coat of credibility. It goes by several other names, but I like to define things by what they truly are. This white lab coat immediately makes me appear more intelligent. It subconsciously gives me mental leverage over other people, and this effect works for just about anyone. I could take a white coat, put it on an average person, have them walk into a university lab, and they may not even be questioned. Now, that might be an exaggeration, but you get the point. In the right hands, like flat earthers, this coat can do positive things. Think I'm kidding? You could put two flat earthers in lab coats, stand them in a public place, one with a clipboard, one with a camera, and people would just walk up to them and ask questions because they are now in a position of intellectual authority. Most of the time, this coat is worn by men of scientism. With it, they can tell you what to eat and drink, what drugs to take, how to raise your children, even what the world looks like. And for hundreds of years, we just took their word for it, never doubting the men in the white uniforms, because they would always be there to guide us, to tell us what to do. And yet, when the people in this room started asking simple questions about our world, the men in the lab coats stood silent, never coming forward to address our concerns. While they stood silent, subject matter experts from all other walks of life came forward to share their testimonies about what they observed. From the American military, we had a Navy missile instructor, an Air Force navigator, a Marine Corps sniper instructor, a Navy submarine chief, an Army artillery radar operator, an Army master gunner, an Army aviation and ground training combat expert, an Army air traffic controller, a merchant marine, a Navy navigator, and a Navy electronic warfare technician. From the air, we had an American flight instructor, an air traffic controller, a commercial airline captain, commercial airline co-pilot, corporate travel agent, international shipping expert. And from the ground, we had an international, sorry, industrial engineer specializing in valves and seals, a multiple large project surveyors, an industrial vacuum expert, and many others. But still, the men in the lab coats remained silent. If you want to know more about these people and many others, then I have just the place for you. In fact, that's why I'm here. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mark Sargent, and I am a freshman recruiter for a wonderful place called Flat Earth University. Our campus is all around you in every city, in every country, because as some of you know, we have people everywhere. I help people find the entrance to this ever-expanding community of free thinkers, and once inside, you will never look at anything the same way again. There are lots of choices here at FEU, and people are eager to help. Some of the campus buildings include advanced map making, where you will try to decipher not only what our world is, but what it isn't. Space Agency Breakdown, where you will learn how to tear apart the last 60 years of space productions. Activism techniques, from simple street corners to intensive road trips. Music and theater. FEU isn't just for the new breed of aspiring scientists. It also encourages all aspects of the creative arts. And of course, all the great experiments that can be tailored for every difficulty level. Make no mistake, FEU is very different from universities based on scientism. They will tell you that we are on a tiny rock flying through an impossible universe and that your life means virtually nothing. 
we will gently remind you that this incredible world and everything in it was built just for you because you are special, valuable, and unique. They will tell you that science is true, whether or not you believe in it, to never question the status quo and never revisit old theories. We encourage people to not take our word for it, but instead do their own research and question everything. They will tell you to abandon your religion, your faith, because it has no place among scientism. FEU makes no religious demands. Whatever your faith is, keep it, because the very nature of Flat Earth implies that it was built, which means by default that there is a creator. And the great thing about Flat Earth University is you can take courses from anywhere, anytime, at your own pace, no matter what your occupation or lifestyle is. You can learn about it while standing in line, sitting in your bathrobe, or while driving in your car. There are no tests, and we have thousands of instructors, all learning from each other every day. All this flexibility is why we are trending faster than any mainstream topic you can think of. We don't just inform people of new observations. We open minds. And when they are open, that enthusiasm becomes infectious, becomes contagious, and nearly irresistible. Flat Earth isn't a theory, nor is it just another reality. It is part of the Great Awakening, one that will eventually define our civilization and our legacy. Humankind now has a chance to rediscover their roots, to finally come together, to finally realize their potential, and maybe, just maybe, create a new golden age. To some, that may sound like wishful thinking, but wouldn't it be great if we could use this discovery to save the world? In closing, my name is Mark Sargent, and I'm a flat earther. It is my addiction my unhealthy obsession, and next to my dear mother, it is my favorite thing in life. I don't want to be famous. I just want to be right. There are lots of famous people who are wrong. Lies eventually end, but the truth, the truth is forever. Long live flat earth. That's the speech. So there you go. Let's go right from that into the calls. 250, I believe that's up in Canada. 250, what's happening? Hey, Mark. Hey. Can you hear me? I can hear you. 